Cons is a 120-year-old big box retailer based in Beaumont, Texas. Stevens Inc. has been a longtime partner with Cons as both shareholders and investment bankers. But in the last few years, Cons' prospects dimmed significantly. It got to the point uh, a couple of years ago where it had to do a significant refinance of its debt structure. I had this strong feeling that, that they should do equity in addition to the debt, and that equity offering should be done in the form of a rights offering. Stevens, Inc. senior executives Warren Stevens and Kurt Bradbury led the team in the mid-1980s that helped struggling Worthern Bank recapitalize. A quarter of a century later, the two men used the same idea to help cons. The strategy? A rights offering. Hardly anybody uses them anymore. Of course, I'm sitting there looking at the thing, talking to Warren about it. So why don't we do something like we did in Worthen for cons? We own this company. We need to support the debt with more equity. Let's all get together and put some in. The rights offering showed Stevens' commitment to their partnerships and investments. In both cases, the rights offering helped Worthen and cons recapitalize their balance sheets and help them recover and rebuild their companies. Unless we see that something has fundamentally changed either in the company or the industry they're in, we're going to stick with it. We're going to try to see our way through and to help that company see its way through. Khan's offering in 2010 was a mere $2.70 per share. As of August 31st, the 52-week high for Khan's was $22.96 per share. It taught me something about standing in there with your clients, with your investments, when things aren't going well, and, and, and how important that is, one, and then how, how much satisfaction you get out of that. 